We're going to call the Board of, I'm going to say Selectmen, Board of Commissioners meeting of Thursday, June 23rd, 2022 to order, and it is 9.05. Please join me in the pledge. of the minutes of June 16th. Have you had a chance? You read them yesterday? Yeah. yeah. Uh, except for the thing about the months. Bob? Uh, it's the meeting minutes of June 9th. Uh -huh. uh, I misspoke. Okay. And I'd like to correct that. Okay. Down uh, near the bottom, the second item from the bottom of the first page, where it says, uh, will be funded with opera grant monies. Equipment may not be available for 30 to 40 months, uh -huh. should be 30 to 40 weeks. Oh, good. Oh, better. Much better. <clears throat> good, good. I think Melissa's already put that in there, right? Yes, I, I cleaned up the signature copy. Is there grant money available now since that last meeting? I'm sorry? There's some, some grant money has become available since that last meeting it's to pay for, for signature. That from the state. It's a competitive. I think it's state art funds that they can handle mm -hmm. for. It. it could be used for that. Remember? I think that's what. You saw that email on Twitter. Is this is it. Yeah. Specific nursing homes, county nursing homes. County nursing homes. Yeah, I sent that thing yeah. to Bob last week, and I got it. We should talk about that at some point. Mm -hmm. So, hey, we were ahead of you. I told Bob, anything we can use for that and yeah, save the effort funds, so. Let's use it. So. I've already been uh, discussing with the yep. things, some items. Oh, good. Sorry, I didn't mean to derail our meeting. <laughs> That's okay. I just wanted to let you know that we're on top of it. Right, Bob? You're on a tight ship. <laughs> Here's the queen coffee. Especially when it's money. Okay. Um, any other Things you want changed in the minutes, or no? I think we should change that though. Yep. From months to weeks. It's been changed. It's been changed on the <clears throat> thing, on the time. Oh, good. Yeah. So okay. I make a motion that we approve the minutes of June 9th. Second. Seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Hold on. Twenty. 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 Manifest approval accounts payable for June 8th is 164000 50 dollars and 40 cents and for June 15th was $168,693.58. Payroll June 10th was $200,566.15. Excuse me, for June 17th, payroll was $249,465.84. The treasurer will not be with us today. We have nothing for Hales. Um, I guess we have a bid opening. This is for the board. Yeah, a few weeks ago I put out for bid. Uh, the 2013 Ford Taurus, our oldest uh, county car, which was replaced over the winter with uh, one of the sheriff's, uh, the sheriff's car. So put it out to bid. I think we have a few bids. Okay. We have two. Two. Well, well, I had, a few. well, I had quite a few people come look at it. Who wants to open? <clears throat> Here you go. Surprise is only two bids. 
I put a minimum bid of twenty five hundred dollars. That may have been that may affect about a couple of bids. Used cars have gone up in price. Yeah. Sealed bid. Can I read mine? Yes. Bought one. It's a sealed bid. Are you even Aspen Auto Services? Is that Asian? Asian. Asian. Oh, Asian. It's handwritten and it's hard to read. Um, they have a place to. Uh, Two thousand eight hundred ninety-five dollars and thirteen cents. I have ones from Stephen P. Pierce from Manchester, New Hampshire, and it's thirty-two hundred dollars. Wow. Pretty dry. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, because used to bother them. <clears throat> Not much to review. Nope. No. Do you have a recommendation? Yep. be awarded to Stephen Pierce for the price of $3,200. Your decision. Do you want to vote on that? It's, it's up to you. If you're, good with me, like, uh, if you're good with me just awarding it to him, I'm fine with that. If we let Bob make the decision. Yeah, that's what I said. Award to the highest bidder. <laughs> okay. Is that a motion? Sure. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. So you have an elevator contract. Is this with Pine? Yep, it is. Yes. This is an extension of an existing contract. Okay. Um, Are there two, or do I just have two copies? This, this two, one for, one for the nursing home, one for this building. Oh, okay. The contracts are separate, but the, uh, the, the it's, you know, the you, know what, you know what I mean. Okay. They're pretty much the it's same. same yeah. They won by competitive bid. Yeah. They're foot in the door. And uh, their last contract was five years. They guaranteed uh, that there would be less than a 5% increase per year, and they held to that. Um, again, with this contract going forward, they've also um, guaranteed less than a 5% increase per year. And I have no reason to not recommend Pine State Elevator. Their contract price when they did win the bid was untouchable, uh, very competitive. The technicians come here on time. I've never had any issues with any anything that they've done. They come four times a year, and then correct. But if if something additional is needed, yes. Okay. If anything additional is needed, it's it's a service call and a repair. When they come out, how long do they usually stay? He used to do to do the four elevators. He does them both in the same trip. He's here three to four hours. Okay. And they're the same amount in each? No. Same cost? It's, it's, it's different per building. Okay. Different types of elevators. Yeah. I would assume the nursing home is the... The larger. The larger. Yeah. Because so there are things that have wheelchairs yeah. and beds. Is there an elevator? have to be big enough for a bed? The nursing home elevators are big enough for beds. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Have to be. Yeah. And we have three elevators there at the nursing home, one elevator here. And it's smaller, right? The elevator here? Yeah, you can't put a, come, come can't put bed. a bed. No. <laughs> you don't need one here yet. No. You never know. <laughs> so it's my recommendation to the commissioners that uh, we uh, extend the contract to Pine State Elevator for five years. So, uh, do you need a motion? Yeah. I, I, I concur with what Bob is trying to do, so uh, make a motion we, we extend the contract to Pine State Elevator for five years. And then all the, the elevators, these are all the elevators we have on, on the campus. Correct. So, that's a good deal. That's my motion. Uh, seconded, Madam Chair, but may I make a comment? Mm -hmm. So, I think this is part of the common theme we've been seeing, which is we're in unprecedented rate hikes and if we stay with these people that have won previously by a competitive bed process we won't face some of the 
crazy rate hikes and we can stay within what we have been paying going forward. So I think for those reasons it makes sense not to competitively bid it again based on the climate and the market with inflation right. and um, we, increased costs. We have been burned by that in the past. Yeah. Um, where I've presented something like this and the commissioners have decided to put it out to bid anyways and it has ended up costing us more money just by going through the process. Um, Bob, do you, do you want to sign this? Is this? That's up to the commissioners. I'm happy to. So, uh, can I amend my motion? Yes. Do we authorize Bob to sign it? Second to the amendment. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. Uh, just a couple points of interest. Um, okay. Back on uh, Thursday, June 16th, or, or Wednesday, I forget whether it was Wednesday. It was Wednesday the 15th. Uh, I took a tour uh, of the old courthouse with Melissa, Will, um, and Carrie, my uh, supervisor at the nursing home. And I don't know if you've received that letter, that, I, that report that I wrote. I just got it today. Okay. Uh, overall, that courthouse is in pretty rock solid shape. There's nothing structurally that seems to be an issue at all, but there's, if, if and when we take over the ownership of that building again, uh, there's, I, I gave you a list of items right there that I would like to do right off. Are any of these crazy expensive bombs? Well, anything has the potential to be. Uh, number one is changing the exterior door locks. Uh, there's a master key system at the courthouse now. Um, I was told by the, the current owners that they have a couple of sets of keys and we'll be getting them, but frankly, the, those master keys have been out there for years. I don't know who, who else right. would have keys. I would want to change the locks on the exterior doors. Uh, number two, since the building's going to be unoccupied and we have to keep it heated, Thank you, uh, I would want to put a temperature monitoring system, something that uh, if the temperature dropped below a certain point, I would get notified. And what is the cost of that, Bob? Do you I have don't a rough know. estimate? Okay. Uh, I, I, don't, I, I don't have a rough estimate on anything here yet. <clears throat> the sprinkler system is currently out of service. How did they get away with that? Don't know. Not keeping the sprinkler service. Don't know. They've is kept up a... with inspections, but the last inspection it was tagged out of service, and there's no, there's, there was nothing written down okay. why it was taken out of service. So uh, I'm going to have to investigate that and uh, and have it ins reinspected and brought back into service. When, when was the last inspection? I didn't write that down. Okay. It was. I think it, w it was within the last year. Okay. Oh, okay. Is the courthouse grandfathered in due to the age of the building? So a lot of those old buildings don't have sprinkler systems, and some of them are grandfathered in. I don't know. It's got a full sprinkler system. I would, I would imagine that. But currently, it's currently not service. Service. Currently, it's out of service. I'm just wondering if maybe they were eligible for an exception, so that's why they didn't fix it. I don't know. Well, we think we need to have a sprinkler system. Yeah, especially in this. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. The the boiler was operational when we got there. Um, but I discovered that it was spewing out carbon monoxide out of one of the service panels on the side of the boiler, so I shut it off. All I did was flip the switch. Any um, idea what, what the cop why it's doing that? Well, because the service panel is, is missing. It's, it's just, it, it became unhinged and it's laying on its side. Um, have they been keeping up with the maintenance on the boiler? Yeah, it appears so. There were, there were recent tags. I think the last time the boiler was serviced was in 2020, two years ago. Before the pandemic, yeah, Regarding they haven't they haven't spent a lot of money on the boiler since, but having the, having a spewing out carbon monoxide like it is, I, I I couldn't walk away with it running, so I shut it off. Uh, on the outside of the building, where the electrical service enters the building, there's there's a lot of trees. You can see, you can see where it had been cleared at one time, but the vegetation has turned from shrubbery to trees and it's coming in it's wrapped around the power lines uh, all it's going to take is a bad storm to take out the courthouse and whatever is connected to the uh, to the adjacent line those trees need to be dealt with would the electric company come in and do that i don't know being on private property usually, i'm not sure usually, well. it's worth asking yep if we take it it's not really private property though 
No, but it's. it's got I don't know. Problem. I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd be worth a call, maybe, to, Absolutely. Have to come out. Yep. Absolutely. Please look at it. Uh, the biggest pest control problem that we found there is bats. Ooh, bats in the belfry. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, there's a broken window, which could be a place that, uh, they're, that they're getting okay. in, but they could be getting in in other places. Um, you know, bats in an attic, that's common. I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. be so concerned about it, but uh, the fact is there's, there's a lot of... Um, there's some historical books up in the attic that are in a pile. County books? I guess uh, some law books, maybe some county books. I didn't know. I didn't poke around. Covered it's with covered, ba in, covered it with back one. We're not going to get into it because it's you yeah. know it's hazardous to breathe. So uh, I'd want to I'd want to tend to that, and I think recovery of those books might be something that we want to consider. Um, but the back one has got to be taken care of in order to recover those books. Um, and the broken window needs to be needs to be repaired. Those are the highlights of items that I'd want to take care of right it, away. It's not as bad as I expected, to be honest no, with you. Yeah, it's better than I expected. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's, I mean, there's plenty of other things. Right. But I mean, <laughs> yeah. no, don't look at this list as being no, incomplete. Oh, no, no, I know. There's a lot of lead. There's a lot of complete. other stuff. So yeah. there's lead paint everywhere. Oh, well, I'm sure there is. Yeah. Is the paint in good condition in, inside? Or no. Not really. The molding, the... Has it been heated through the winter, though? Yes. It, they've kept the heat on. Yes. Okay. Yes, they've maintained the heat. There's some cracks in the plaster. Yeah. Um, the paint is not in the greatest condition. Outside, some of the, you know, a lot of the paint is flaking around the, the, the windows and doors. Uh, you know that there's got to be lead paint there. Oh, yeah. I believe that all the, the molding and all the is lead. What's, what's the roof? Slate. It's a slate roof and it's it's slate. condition. As a matter of fact, uh, sometime this afternoon, uh, Lisa from Deeds yeah. mm -hmm. um, is we're going to go over there together, and she has uh, a um, drone that her son let her borrow. She's oh, gonna, yeah, she does. Yeah. She's going to fly it over and take some pictures of the roof for us. Did you get okay. the key? Can you get in, in there? I don't have the key yet. Can we get it today? And uh, I can make a phone call, see if I can. We should go in and look at it. And I, I think we need to move real quickly. I could set this up for next week. Do we know if they have maintained the insurance on the building? I don't. They did. I asked about documentation. Wait, Melissa knows. Um, I did reach out because you had mentioned that yeah. yesterday when you were here. Yeah. I reached out to Lois Sweeney, the president. She said they do have insurance and she can provide a copy of it on Friday. Do they know what it's insured for? I didn't ask any further okay. questions. I just emailed her real quick this morning. And okay. That's what she said. Costs have gone up a lot since oh. they took it. So. We have to be here next Thursday. Can we? Are you sure about that? Well, at least one of us. At least okay. I'll be here. Yeah. Um, It'd be hard for me to set that up today, but I yeah, can certainly set up something next like, week. Like, I'm thinking if we have to be here on Thursday, maybe that would just save a trip if we could arrange it for Thursday. And yeah. you could have your person come. That would give enough time. Yeah. What? Um, so some of these really need, should be done right away. If we take it back, yeah. If we take it back, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that everything on this list needs to be taken care of right away. Well, if, right. if we take it back, we should make a decision real quick. But this could be done before we take it back. Well, I don't, they don't have the money. How are we going to pay for it? Well, we don't have the money either. That's why we're... There's a few things that I could take out of my maintenance budget. Changing the exterior locks, I could probably do. Yeah. Um, we'd we'd have to find a way to get the sprinkler system back into service. Yeah. Uh, have to have the company come out, pay for a service call, and and see what it would take. And then and then if it's going to be more than a thousand dollars, I'm going to come to you and say yeah. help. Yeah. If it's under a thousand dollars, I could probably f find the money for it. Can we find any money in our budget? I hate to say that, but, but it's not. I don't think we can use that. We can't keep this. doing that too because the ARPA money is spoken for. Yeah, we can't do it. Um, Did they get ARPA money? No. The Virginia? Yeah, we gave them. We gave them money for the heat. For the heat. I think we gave them a couple thousand dollars or four thousand. Oh, yeah, I could have. They said that the tank is full. Yeah. The oil tank is full. But they used it to buy oil. Yeah, that's what they asked for the money for. They couldn't afford to heat the building. Any longer. Well, how are we going to afford to 
<laughs> Bob, is there any way by next week that you could get some rough estimates on, like the sprinkler system, how much it would cost to have them come out? I could probably, I, I could probably start pecking away at the list. I don't think I'd have it complete by next, by the end okay. of next week. Well, whatever you can do. That's fine. I'd say hit the... Yeah. I mean, a broken window, that's going to be probably not too bad. No, 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 no. I mean, the pest control, we'd have to have the pest guy come in, the trees. Uh, but, I mean, just like the, um, I think the first four, if we could just kind of get a rough estimate on those, on that, because that looks to me like those would be the, the real money. Mm -hmm. The others are... And I don't... Uh... And I, I don't line want to spend a lot of time on it, but if no. you could just get a rough estimate. Yeah, in line so. number two, I mentioned the temperature monitoring system, yep. but I would also like to have the fire system, fire alarm system. It does have a fire alarm system, but I would like to activate that and have it re remotely monitored as well. Yeah, if, I, I would agree. Is it not activated? Uh, I think internally, but I don't think they need, I don't think there's anybody monitoring it remotely. So if the fire alarm goes off, you're going to be dependent on somebody hearing it and calling it in. I don't think it's being monitored by a remote company like yeah. we have here. Um, and, I, and same thing, uh, line, line number two is a three-part. Temperature monitoring, fire alarm monitoring, and I'd want a security system on the exterior doors. Would all of this exceed $5,000? Oh, sure. If we take it back and then do this, we'll have to go to the delegation for permission if it's more than 5000 yeah. We can find a way to pay for it before we take it back. I, just Don't a rough a, a ballpark. I think we could easily spend five thousand um, dollars, but I can't. I, I I don't think we'd spend more than ten. Great. Well, I will. Um, I'll give our favorite person a call and see what their thoughts are on that. And and I could I could find a couple thousand dollars in my budget, but. You know, if we're start, if we're going over three, four, five thousand dollars, yeah, I just don't. That would be too. I can't, I can't come up with that. Yeah, but some of these are pretty important. Yeah, yeah. the sprinkler, the alarm, yeah. and the locks, I think, are. Yeah. I'm just wondering if there's any way because this is a historical site, mm -hmm. if there's any grants out there for historical buildings or anything. Be nice. I might look into that too. I don't think you're going to get it fast enough. This has to be done right away. Right. But this is just the really mm -hmm. important stuff. Yeah. And then it's going to need to be renovated. Yeah. The well, paint's hopefully. going to, the lead paint flaking away is going to be a problem. Depending on the use, yeah. yeah. Or we just sell it and let a purchaser just deal with that. <laughs> That'd be the easiest thing to do. That's, that's our. It'd be nice if somebody was interested in an old courthouse. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be working. Okay. Maybe we need to get some legal advice too on this uh, in terms of the best way to structure a deal to take care of, you know, do something with this building. I don't know that the county has in itself has a need for this building. No, it doesn't. Or a desire to take it on and then have to spend money to take care of it. But Mr. Cummel? Thank you for Honorable letting, Cummel, sorry. Thank you for letting me interrupt. What about the um, the cost of the underground fuel tank? Did you check that out? And what about other items that could really start to unwind in cost? Well anything in that building could start to unwind as you as you as you speak. It, it, the build, 1916, that's when the building was uh, dedicated. Uh, so we're 115 years old. Um, the fuel oil tank. They, is it underground? It's got an, it's, it's, it is underground and it's got a monitoring system. It's outside underground? Yes. And I asked the question, I said, are you aware of any leaks? She says, it does not leak. Okay. That's as far as I got. How long has the tank been there, do you know? Yeah. No idea. But it has a monitoring system. Okay. We awarded them fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen, I didn't think it was that much. Wow. Okay. That's what it says. They asked for thirty and we awarded them fifteen. And have they spent any of it? I know. I have a list of what we awarded people, that was the question. I have no idea. As they spend it, do we get 
get reports back? It depends. There are reporting requirements, but if they claimed it under the lost uh, lost profits, then no, that was just an award, and then they could do whatever they wanted for it because it was compensation for a lost profit. I don't know how their request came in and how it was awarded to them. So if they asked for it for a specific COVID-type project, then they had to provide documentation when those projects were complete. If it was for lost profit, it was just for lost profit. So I don't know. Would you like to... Converse with. I'd love to have a con conversation. Well, then yeah. why don't you contact Lois Swinney and ask her? I will. Her. Okay. I think we should do that right away because if the, if the money's there, if the money is there, we should ask them to do some of these. Yeah. Yep. Well, all of them, to use up the money for this. If they haven't already. Yeah. Because the whole point of giving them the money was to take care of this building. Okay. As I recall. Okay, you're in charge. I'll need the number, Melissa. So, <laughs> so if you're gonna if you're gonna contact her, yeah, well, why don't you set up the meeting, for, for the walkthrough for next Thursday, okay, and invite me along. Okay. Um, remember the meeting is at one. Thursday. So it would have to be before that? Or? After you in the morning. We also have that tent opening um, next Thursday. If you if you wanted to if you wanted to see the tent opening. That's at one o'clock. That's when the union meeting is at one. Okay. Shoot. So I guess you won't be seeing the tent opening. <clears throat> Not critical that you're there, it's just both here, for interest. Though. Yeah, we might be able to move the The other one till how long will the tent won't be to half hour? Yeah. Maybe we could move up the union meeting to one thirty. Have it in the tent. Have it in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Is this the jail union or the nursing home? Jail. Haven't we started the nursing home? Yeah, we yet. started the nursing home. Okay. And we need to. So, um, all right, I'll call Tom and see if we can move that to one thirty or or two. And then when do you want to go to what would you go before? Before or in the morning or yeah. noon or after it, whatever you want to do. Whatever you can arrange with um, other people. Okay. Can you get received the check though? For the yeah. money? And Bob, you have something else for us. I'm just gonna be hanging out uh, for a line item transfer, uh, which is on the agenda not too far away. Why don't, if it's just for you, why don't we just do it? Yes. Dominic's not here evidently yet for his bid opening. It's not in your package. We see that this morning with the signatures, so oh, okay. there's three right there. So we discussed uh, we discussed um, uh, seal coating, the admin parking lot, and the um, and, and crack filling at the nursing home. Um, I had all of this in one budget uh, last year. We split it up um, between the nursing home and the administration building. So in order to do the uh, in order to do the parking lot, the seal coating, and line striping here. We, I have to I have to tap into uh, Mountain View money. Okay. Transfer some of that money back in. Uh, there's plenty of money there for it. Um, I do you have the list of? On the, yeah. Okay. On the back side is my explanation with the math. Yeah. So I need to transfer four hundred and five dollars and seventy three cents from the nursing home to the administration building grounds budget. After the um, after the parking lot. That the administration building is done, that's going to zero out that line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I, I'm moving over just enough to cover the invoice or the proposal. So, Madam Chair, yes. I, I would make the comment that it's not so much the nursing home as the nursing home grounds. Grounds, but grounds. so it's your budget. Yeah, but because it's under the nursing home. Um, 
I need a D signature. Right. It's technically. But it was allocated to grounds, not yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, but it's, but it's nursing home technically it's D's budget, not mine. And she's okay with it. And she's okay with it, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes, she did. She signed it. Okay. Let me make a motion to approve this transfer request, um, 2022-006, to move $405.73 from the nursing home grounds, care of grounds budget, and into the administration grounds budget. That's my motion. That's your motion. Okay. I second Commissioner Potch's motion on request 2022-006. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Can you have a second? Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Um, while it's fresh on my mind and I don't have to bring it up later, um, we had talked about the flooring at the jail. Remember that bid came in uh, last time we met and it's really high. it was high. We didn't have enough money. Um, I asked the question if we could encumber that money for another year and you directed me to speak to um, uh, Bonnie uh, if that was okay. And she said uh, under this circumstance with this, with, uh, Considering the source of the funds, that yes, it's absolutely okay to um, to extend this for another year. So we can use this in conjunction with, um, if the delegation approves, uh, use it in conjunction with capital to get that project done. So I don't know if you need to make a motion or just uh, or, or what. Do you have a form for encumbering money? Yeah, it's in your form for encumbering money. I guess. If I might, normally you do that at the end of the year. You have a, a list. That's what right. I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Seed's been planted. And then it goes. Okay. <laughs> all right. That's all. Thank you very much. Okay. Is um, Don not going to come up for his bid openings? Or? I don't know. Okay. We have received one bid in response to that. Oh, one. Well. You need me to knock um, on the door? Yeah, see if he's going to come. Thank you. Not much to. Are we going to have a non public about our position on the union stance before next Thursday? Um, I was told that they were having one before that. Um, just. Uh, Sean and um, Linda. Linda. All right, but I think we've all exchanged proposals and we're, we need to know where our bottom line is. We have a, um, I have a, I know I didn't bring it up in the, what our, we can talk about it later. I just yeah. was wondering if it was on for today or not. It's a nice building. I know. I hate to see it. Just well, it could make a nice house. Do you want to do the IRS rate now, Chair? Yeah, one? let's do that. So what do you have to do with that? Is it Nothing. Going it's up? just a. Yeah. No. Yep. You should have it. That's going up for the revised standard for mileage rates. Uh, for business is 62.5 cents per mile, and medical and moving is 22 cents per mile. So it's going from. I think we're getting 58. 58, 58 and a half. 58 and a half, and we're going up to 62 point. And this is. That's for July 1st through December 31st. Yep. And I didn't know if you needed a motion on it, or if you're just going to go with the IRS rate. That's, our policy says that we follow the IRS rate. Right. I just said we've never made motions on this before. The cost of gas doubled. Shouldn't it be going up? Like <laughs> the IRS <laughs> never, never, never matches. Now. No. Well, hey. Who are they working for? They 62 working for cents? I, I think that's the highest it's ever been, isn't it? Well, I think gas is the highest it's ever been, well, I know, too. but the government usually doesn't. People are coughing up bones. Okay. 
So then, so we have that. And we, is there any other line item transfers? Is that I the only one? I have two more. Um, line item transfers. One for $100 for the county attorney's office. There's three copies here. Okay. Do we have to do anything with the IRS rate? Or just, no. We just adopt. We just adopt it. It's already adopted. One for the jail. There's three copies here. Oh, And the county attorney is 07. from the supplies line and put it in the inmate mattress line because the cost of mattresses has gone up so much this year. <laughs> a little bit over. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. And I would make a motion as well to approve 2022-07 in the county attorney's office to move $100 from the supplies line and put it into the uh, travel line for the victim assist under the victim assistance grant because the travel has gone a little bit over. Originally there was 3150 budgeted and it looks like thirty two hundred three dollars and seventy five cents has been spent. So they're a little bit over. That'll take us through June, right? Through the end of June it's that what you said. Until okay. the, the new grant year kicks in. Okay. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Something bits. 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 Bits
a bid opening for the sheriff's department from last week, and RFP went out about consoles and then the reconfiguration of the dispatch center. Essentially, the price is one thousand seventeen hundred seventeen thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars, even for a Watson Mercury Pro dispatch furniture with the enclosed layout. And I assume this is the enclosed layout. Mr. Camel, Honorable Camel, do you want to see this? I already saw. So yes, this would just be for the furnishings, um, nothing to do with the actual teardown of the walls, um, restructuring, um, moving the consoles, the cables, that would be... $117,000. Watson Mercury Pro Dispatch Furniture per enclosed layout, two linear console positions, three corner console positions, 48, 48 inch high screens, electronically adjustable monitor array with individually adjustable monitor arms, three over three, environmental controls, built in surface multi ports, technology ports, shared team tables with tech storage and end stacker storage. Mobile personal storage supervisor position. Price includes freight certified installation. Does it include the chairs? <laughs> no. <laughs> Those are expensive. Right? They are. Yeah. And we have um, dispatch chairs are not cheap. Right. And we have tried many different types yeah. not to find the perfect one yet. But yeah. There is no perfect no. chair. Have you tried having people stand? They do have that option because the desks do raise. Yes. Yeah. Do these go up and down as yes. well? Yes. Okay. sitting there for a whole shift. Sometimes it is nice to stand up. Wow. You say standing is healthier for, for what it's worth. I noticed our uh, videographer here always stands. Okay, any questions, Commissioner Chisar? For the record, I'm not your video. Okay. Well, I guess so we will give this information to Dominic and come back. He can come back with his recommendation if he wants to go with this or try again. Um, if I could, I would recommend this at this point. Um, obviously, there is a time in this bid that um, is valid until June 30th. Okay. Um, we all know the changing prices are always increasing. Deliveries are increasing. 
Is it is this in the ballpark of what you were expecting? Yes. It's in your budget. No, well, it's in the county's budget. Yes. yes. What was allotted for this project in the capital reserve? Uh, the capital reserve had one thirty-six, maybe in change. Mm -hmm. One thirty-six was the capital budget. The total capital budget, because there was something else that had to come out of it too. No, that was the total, um, but the um, dispatch move. I was told worst case scenario price was thirty one thousand two hundred fifty. So that would be on top of the one seventeen nine fifty. So that's gonna put us over. Between. That would put it over. And that also does not include us tearing down the walls. Right, and the other thing that we have to fix. Of capital. Well this was the capital budget for this project. For this 36. project. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it came under the... Yeah, but no. with the, what we need to do no. for the rest of it, we'll be no. over the capital. No, we're going to be over. By how much? 15000 approximately? That's unknown because... Um, that that thirty one was worst case scenario. Right. For the, for the for, moving of for the, the moving. consoles and the electronics. Uh, we would need to repair the ceiling tiles once we take down those walls. Maybe some minor electrical, although the electrical would be with OME. Um, right. yeah. We but can't move the, the sink main. We need a minor adjustment down the wall, so it might be some light plumbing. That would put us at least 20000 over budget. I'm assuming you don't have 20000 somewhere in your budget, do you, Sharon? No. Nope. So it's... As soon as you get that, we'll have to go to the delegation, probably yep. to get a supplemental. Right, or but if we agree to do this, to do yep. and then we don't have the money, and they don't approve the, to do the rest of it, then what do we do with this? Is this wasted? Because you can't use this currently in your current layout. No, and I wouldn't choose to either. Right, so this is good pricing till June 30th. If we commit to this and accept this, and then we can't get the funding for the rest of the capital reserve project, what do we do with this? Um, well, it was my belief that the county was going to try and work with several different money um, types as far as whether it be opera, whether there it is be no the in, in, um, infrastructure. Um, so yeah, I don't think there was a problem with the delegation, but. Because I really do think that uh, at this point the um, prices are only going to go up. But we're looking at everything else. Matthew? Matthew? <laughs> I'm just thinking, any chance of calling them and just seeing if they shave, take a haircut on that? You know, shave some dollars uh, out? I think that would be improper. <laughs> um, well, they're the only bidder. So. Yeah. Um, Why would that be improper? I'm just curious. <laughs> we asked for a bid, we got a bid. Um, we asked for a bid, and we, could, we only got the one bid, so yeah. we could accept it or not. We could say it's, you know, it's not within our budget. It's not, can you take, down, take off 10000 I mean, I, I guess it can always be attempted. I, I don't know. Maybe give it a shot. And, and where are these? We, we have done going? that. We have done that. Oh, with they're other from Mountain Borough, right? Well, must be Mountain Electronics. I'm yes. just concerned about going over budget. I know the delegation is not going to want to do a supplemental budget in an election year. And it's, it's in another $20,000, at least. That's worst case scenario. That's worst case. 
maybe not replace And then the there is one. always a thought, I can ask um, Osby Mountain, as far as getting money back on the furnishings we're taking out. Okay. Um, those are still in usable shape. Um, if there's any chance they could resell them. And could they be used for us? No. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I think they're specialized, right? Us, meaning the other county? No, county dispatch. No. No, because that would defeat the whole purpose of yeah. it. It's not much market for this. I thought this, I thought originally we had this in Ottawa, didn't we? No. It was never approached. We had the 136. In capital. We never had any money for this. This was never a projected proposal for our vote. Once we had completed all of the proposals and asked everybody for their input, this came in and the money had already been allotted in ARPA. But it is budgeted. 430 something. 130 total. 36. 136 total. I can make the phone call and then uh, make the phone call. Let you know. We'll be here for a while. All right. See what they say. All right. It just there's a recession coming. Maybe we'd like to get this stuff out. I know. Before, yeah. I I just can't see going back for a supplemental. I just, no, I probably wouldn't. I mean, but if we could find the money in other places and just do transfers. I know the delegation, well, they, people have told me, can we don't bother coming back to supplemental this year? Okay. okay. I'll um, make the phone call and let you know. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'll make phone as well. All right. I'll wait to hear back from you. Do you want to take these with you or? I have a copy. Oh, you have a copy? Okay. Okay. Hey, annual report? I don't really have anything on that. I'm not, I shouldn't have put that on the agenda. Mainly just to say that next at your next meeting, I'd like to have a draft ready for the commissioners to review and approve to for go what? to the printer for the annual report from it's last not, year. For last year. It hasn't been printed yet? No? I don't know. No. This would be, I don't know. I have never seen it. Have you? We don't do it till June. It's June. I don't understand You're what You're thinking of the last year, the pre-2019. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's out and been done and been taken yeah. care of. We're on track for this year's. It's due this in June. For it's almost done. The this commissioner's is, portion yeah. has already been written. Okay. Pictures have been taken. We haven't seen it yet. No. Okay. That's what I thought. That's why Tim's I was confused. On top, yeah. No, Melissa took what everybody gave her, and she's about to put it into a draft that she's okay. going to give us all to review, because I've only seen the com commissioner's portion, and okay. I only saw it because I wrote it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I know we have a non-public with HR today. Do we have any other? And we have a non-public with a county attorney. Yes. And also, uh, sorry, I was just checking with people to see their times. We also have one. Uh, Superintendent Eldridge has requested one. If those times work for the commissioners, I just got those set. Um, they did do. A 10 30 11 and 11 30. it's it's funny that they think any one of these will only take a half an hour i i say the one that might take longer for last how you want to that's fine i guess 10 30 would be the first one what time is it now it and is okay. um, um, okay. so why little. don't we um did we have anything with d today yeah she's on here Okay. Yeah, the last one. The last one. Part of that one. Okay. I did have a couple extra things, I think, in your packet. Yeah. I hope I put one in your packet there. Um, there's a, a water customer request for... Yeah, I read that. I, got that. Yeah. I don't know if that's a non-public thing or because it's a, a business or organization if you want to do it. I think because of the, yeah, it probably should be. Um, 
public. So what are they asking for? A reduce in their water bill? I mean, we don't have to say who it is or anything. They're, they're asking basically that they be able to pay... Um, just the usage, I think. Just the usage and, and waive the, the regular fee until they've paid, until they've gotten current. Um, what is the hundred dollar quarterly water fee? What does that pay for? It doesn't pay for usage, it just pays for a connection? No, I don't know. It's hard to read. Every customer uh, is charged one hundred dollars per quarter. Regardless of what they use. Right. So they use just like for being a customer. And then they used 80 cents worth of water in one term, and it's 180 cents because of the $100 quarter fee. I guess so. Yeah. I don't have mine now, but <laughs> you'll see that one month, um, I think it's on there, if the printout is correct, where they used 87 They had, a, they had the water leak, yeah. so there was an $87 usage, but normally it's minimal So, in other words, we wouldn't be getting much of anything from them for the water. Yeah. I, so, right, but in, in the course of like this year, they used like $3 worth of water and got charged five or $600 for $3 worth of water. That's, could we cut it in half for them since they are so minimal and let them save half of the projected money? I'm just... I guess I can't, I'm having trouble following it. So, here's their usage tax. See how it says usage? Yes. They yeah. use two units, so they use, they're 40 cents a unit, so they use 80 cents worth of it. But then they, you have to tack on their $100 quarterly, so now it's $100 and 80 cents, which is their And balance. they were closed? Why do they use so little water? Because they're a church, they're only there on Sundays for a couple of hours. So, what are they using it? <laughs> how big is a unit? How many gallons? <laughs> I they may flush the toilet one time. <laughs> they're paying $100 to be connected and they're paying 80 cents for the water. Right. So they're saying until their usage, you know, this was during COVID, so I would assume they probably were remote. So the government makes them close. They can't open. So when they had the water line burst, though, that was only a couple of days. It was like three days. Yeah, you can see yeah. it here. You can see it down at the bottom. Yeah. How much did they lose in that? $187, dollars and 60 cents. Yeah, which is way out of their normal. So they had the pipe going, you know. But they paid that. But in that, they've realized that they pay basically the fee and not and for minimal usage. Sounds like that water line burst that was kind of an Is that a bad joke? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> Back to the <laughs> I used that once successfully. The act of God defense. No matter. I'm an actual work. I... My only problem is that you do have a week to think about it. Those bills will right. go out the first week of July. I, so. 
now that it's in pub that it's been brought to the public is that I just think that now we're opening it up for other people who are going to say under the special circumstances would you do that for me? I don't know. I think we need to talk about it. And not public. I don't think we have a policy on this. <laughs> have we ever done this for anyone before? I don't. You don't have an abatement policy no. in your water system regulations. Mm -hmm. um, years ago, um, I remember a previous board issuing an, a, a temporary abatement to one customer. If it's happened since then, I'm not sure. This is probably like eight or ten years. I mean, it, was, it was a long time ago. I know that Underwood is working to help us rewrite our regulations, so I'm sure yeah. that will include the process for this, but right now it's, I mean, it's an abatement, so I'm just seeing it. I'm reluctant to create, <coughs> in effect, create a policy based on one case. Right. But I, you know, I fully understand. And While you're on the topic of the water system, um, worked with Will to create a letter to go to the customers within their next billing the first week of July. Basically just letting them know that the county is contracted with Underwood to conduct a water system improvement study and they can find a copy of that study on our website or in the office. Uh, and that if these improvements are being funded by the ARPA funds and this was just a Notice to the customers a courtesy letter that we'd like to include in the billing. My thought when we talked about doing this was to put um, a, projected, a projected dollar amount so that they could see they're getting basically millions of dollars of upgrades to the water system since they're the ones directly affected by those upgrades other than the county which is the water source's largest customer. Yeah, I think that would be appropriate. So my only suggested change would be to add um, an, an approximate, uh, like an, a range of, or an estimate of funds to be spent. Then we put like four point something million? No, it's two point five million. I would just say approximately $2 million. Do you, get, do you understand what I meant by the letter, Matt? To kind of no, say it again. So it again. my intent of why we would send this letter to the customers was because all of our water customers may not watch our weekly meetings. Right. <laughs> so they You're may, kidding. They so may not. not in the county watch them. They may not know that they're going to be on the receiving end of approximately a $2 million project that is going to help them that they don't have to come up with the money for. So I would suggest adding something, language in there that says, um, you know, improvements in, in the amount of approximately $2 million will be made to the water system using grant-funded ARPA money, uh, which will create benefit to the water customers, or I don't even know, something along those lines. Seems like a big company. Yeah. Yeah, a Bester housing. Yeah, and look at the project. It's yeah. You know how many units? 156 yeah. apartments. And, 
to be honest with you, they'd like to, the Bluebird people, they would like to take a look at the courthouse. That's good. So, I'm surprised because aren't they mostly in common? Right, but they can spread out. They just purchased another one in Conway. So there to be three for them. Yeah, but the, 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 the Bluebird project, the outside of the building still continues to look yeah. nice. This is going to be a massive, yeah. gaudy right. apartment complex. Yeah. I mean, how do you put 156 yeah, apartments that? in and not make it get the area looking... So here's the sheriff's department goods, and there's a pre and envelope in there or a thing to send back. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I don't know if we need to put the 9.5 million in there, but. We probably don't need to. Yeah, I don't think we need to put this in there. I think we just have to put it. I wonder too, do we want to put a, word, a line in there that says we don't anticipate interruptions in their service? Yes, you should put evening. that in. Did I say important project or just project? I did say important project. Really essential. It's an essential project. We need to take care of this. Project. And I'm not sure if we need to put when DPW gets to replacing water meters and fire hydrants, if there may or may not be an interruption in their service, which they would obviously be notified of well ahead more. of time. But. Yeah. Well, I put at this time no interruption in service is expected, okay. um, and then we can let them know when there is. Okay. We'll clean that up and we'll get it to you for next week to sign if that works. Okay. Now what's this? A request from some corporation that wants to build 156 apartments in Conway. Yes, they've already started. I think that by the tech. Village. I don't know. I haven't seen it unless it's out behind the tech village. Yeah, I heard that they were logging out there to get ready. So I'm not sure. I don't get up there. Oh my goodness! It's going to be even more about that. More than 156. As it says, we're about to start construction on the first of four buildings that will. Oh, in total, yeah, in total, include 156 apartments. Will be rent restricted. 60% of the area median income or less. Um, we received two requests from two of the nonprofits that received ARPA money asking for an extension. I got these from finance. One is asking for the, till the end of July. Oh, I'm sorry. Until August, and the other one is September 30th. Who and why? So what? Did, so I haven't seen the one for the one that I gave them. Ms. Enos. You gave them one? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Do you? Ms. Enos. I haven't seen any other ones. Bear can't ask for an extension, and I handed it in. Karen, or do you remember who you gave it to? Either Karen or Warren, and it was like two, two or three weeks ago when I was here. I think it was to Karen. Um, so this one is from Starting Point. They're requesting. They've spent almost forty thousand, leaving them approximately ten left in their in their allotted, and they were unable to secure the remaining work to be performed by the June deadline. And they'd ask for an extension until June 30th, until uh, September 30th. So that's starting point. It's asking for an extension until September 30th to spend their remaining 10. So they spent most of theirs already. And then the Osby Area Community Center is asking. They just started the build work on their building. But final payments to contractors won't be paid until the middle of July, so they'd like a grant request until August. But they've already started the funds. construction. They've already committed yep. the funds, right? Yep. So why couldn't starting point? What happened with starting point? It doesn't say. 
I, I read you what's in the letter. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if it's construction, I know how hard it is. I haven't been able to get anybody to do any work. The construction? Well. Is that what starting point is using the funds for? It says to the remaining work to be performed by the deadline. That I don't know what kind of work they're doing. I mean, the point of these grants was to help these nonprofits. If we don't approve the extension, they're they're not going to be able to complete their projects, and that doesn't seem like that's a good use of our. We got four years to spend the money. Why would we expect them to spend it in only a couple matter of months? I mean, they were only awarded the money in what April. Yeah, I don't have a problem. I think we signed a couple extensions already. But you, you did vote at your last meeting to extend two others. Two so others, yes. Yeah. Matthew? Uh, I'm fine with it, but does it have an effect on our reporting obligations and our obligations to spend money? You know, how much flexibility do we have? I mean, why, why was that deadline in there, and can we extend it that way? I think the extension is up to us. I mean, do we need to ask Bonnie? Is this yeah, I, I have no problem with Ms. Bonnie. Good. We probably should have done that before we granted the other two last week because yeah. we're going to look like schmucks sure. if we don't grant these We should have, but, you know. I think Bonnie she, wasn't here last week, so. Right, but I think she saw them. I, I'm not sure. Is she okay? As long as it doesn't have a, you know, a detrimental effect on our obligations, I don't have a problem. I think it's a great idea. Okay. The last thing I had is uh, Register Scott dropped off a letter. Um, acknowledging um, some employees for work they've done in her department. I'm sorry, I only have one, the original. In, not just employees. Though. Yeah, no. What, um, just on the grounds. I mean, it does acknowledge the employees, but there's also some also, um, I don't know if any of the um, department heads have put in anybody for recognition for the um, Association of Counties thing. And we need to get they didn't busy. put us in? <laughs> yeah, we're not Fire. employees. <laughs> no, yeah. um, and we need to get our reservations in and no, who's going and do. what. So that's something we have to talk about soon. Okay. Um, Laura found the third extension request that Commissioner Tassari mentioned. She's bringing it up. Okay. So, you know, there's three ARPA extensions now. Well, why don't we take a recess and we can ask Bonnie about that before we make a decision. Okay. And we got 15 minutes before our first on public. The recording has stopped. 10:19. It is 10.30 and we are back in our meeting. Now, Commissioner Flash has a question on the credit cards. What this I, meeting is being recorded. What I used to do is I asked them for a printout of every charge. We don't get that anymore. No, but we can. They'll print it out per department. Yeah. So that we, we, you know, because with this, to know what each department's spending, you have to look at every individual it's bill. It's impossible. So I used to get them quarterly. Yeah. And I can ask for them again if you would like. Quarterly? Well, whatever. Or you can have them monthly if you right, want. Right, but if you get them monthly, all it's going to show you is the charge. At least that shows you what you got for the charge. Yeah. So how is the printout going to help you? That's going to tell you somebody paid $500 for a chair. But it's the invoice that's going to go and say, oh, it was a special chair for, for a dispatch. It, if you have a question, then you can go look up the invoice. But he doesn't want to look through it. I, I don't think I, he I wants just, to look through every invoice. But when you see something on the printout that sticks out, then you can go and pull it. But that's what, if, if that's what you guys want to do, that's totally up to you. Okay. I found it very helpful because you'd see something that stuck out and then then you could go ask questions about it. It's just that what we're getting is people's credit card statements 
and then one charge might be allocated to something. And I don't know. I don't know. It, it's, it's a little bit impenetrable. Um, who is our ten thirty? Attorney Andrew. Oh, okay. Where is she? She said she could be here. <clears throat> She says, I'll be right there. Okay. Um, meanwhile, I did um, discuss, I called the chair of the delegation, and if we, his advice was to um, get the furniture, and that we will, um, it's just like the water tower. It was in capital, but it was paid for by APA, and if it can't be paid for by APA, that we can't. It's not a, a budget in the law. Wait, let me finish. And if it's not able to be paid for by APA, they can take money out of different departments and they will okay that. Because it's stupid to hold it up because the prices are going up and up. And the longer we wait, the more expensive it's going to be. And they okayed the project. Okay, but the sheriff's trying to get... Yeah, right. He's going to come back. Yeah, so that's why I asked if what they would be okay with. Okay. So it's totally up to whatever you guys want to do. I just going to let you know. That's good. If you two don't want to prove it, that's fine with me. If you do, it's fine with me. I just wanted to get what the delegation, what he thought the delegation would go on, if anything. Because we'll be back, right? So, he'll be back. Okay. He might have been able to get some money on That's it. what I want to hear. Okay. Okay. And I think we'll have some ARPA money left over, because we're getting a lot of stuff for the grants that were in the water. For the offer. We're going to be using grant money instead of offer money. That would be good. So I think, I'm hoping we'll have some extra. Although the way their prices are going up, um, the hydrants are already here. So those are here. Okay. Yep. Are they in storage somewhere? Yep. He has them over in his building. Okay, good. Um, what else? Uh, the Boy Scouts have been here a couple of times in mode, but I don't have any other update on that. I haven't been able to get a hold of Dale Drew. He hasn't been very good at answering my phone calls. Are they doing it this year? Yeah, it seems to be, according to Will. He hasn't had much contact with them, but they've been down there maintaining, they doing the, the mowing bird? and stuff. What about the bird laser? Don't know. So um, I think it's Tim Brown. Brown. Point of information. I don't know if the person, uh, Tim Brown, is available to, I don't think he runs the scouts anymore. I heard that in the Tamworth meeting. Yeah, he's in so, Tamworth. Yeah, I don't know. I just know that he was the one. Yeah. With it, uh, something the scouts had owned, some cabins or something, and they had difficulty finding out information about it. So Maybe uh, Representative McConkie could help us out. Or just call the point of contact because he's I'll just call the Boy Scouts and find yeah. out. Oh. And then what else? Oh, the the farm days that I had wanted to institute or try to get going um, with talking with the different farmers. They pretty much already uh, had contracts and obligated to other things throughout the summer. Mm -hmm. So the best time to start that is like September. So we probably won't have one this year, but if we can start getting it organized in September and October for the next summer and get the farmers on board to come, we'll have to pick out a date and okay. what we want to do. So it would be fun to have it. I'd like to have it. But I think I guess we have to do it properly in order to make it a success. So what would they bring? Well they'll bring whatever produce that they have. Um, animals, 
you know, um, I think uh, I think UNH used to bring their wood chipper, their, you know, just different things that would be interesting for the community. So we can work on that okay. in the fall. Try to get them signed up. Last week, um, and I sent it to Bob, and and um, about the fifty million dollars is being allocated for nursing home infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So I told him if there's anything that he's planning on doing in the next year, anything for the nursing home, to let us know, to let to to apply for it in this. So I know that he um, got with D. So I don't know what the outcome was on that. They're trying to. Do anything with that. So. <coughs> so we have to do these in non public, right? Yeah, I think it's all non public stuff. Oh, come on. There's a whole packet of things. So there are minutes, and then there are things after the minutes. minutes. all non public though, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> well, we're going to right now. Thank you. We're going to move around public under RCA 91E3, Roman numeral 2, subsection, all the subsections. Seconded. All those in favor, roll call vote. Commissioner Tassari. Aye. Commissioner McCarthy. Aye. Commissioner Fletch. Aye. Thank you. 1044. 